My name is Eric Rodriguez, and it's... Oh, my name is Eric Rodriguez, and in September of 2000, I started a journey in the, as a Pittsburgh Public School student. I attended Phillips Elementary, Frick International Studies Academy, Shenley, I mean Ivy World, and finally in June, I graduated from Obama Academy. It was a journey that has defined me. I made my best friends, I grew up, I learned, and I dreamed big. But more importantly than dream, I did. I tried to take advantage of every opportunity. I was the captain of Obama's Academy swim team when we joined the WPIAL, and during our inaugural season, we went undefeated and won our section. We didn't dream about it, we risked everything and we did. I was elected youth governor of Pennsylvania. I almost didn't run for the position because I was afraid of failure, but then I did. I ran, I put myself on the line, and, that, and I won. And that experience changed my life. I was part of a group of Obama Academy students that organized and hosted a televised mayoral debate run entirely by students. It was the first ever such event hosted in the Tier 1 American city. We were all scared of the possibility of failure, but it was a huge success and one of the best things I ever did. We dreamed big, but I don't remember any of the dreaming I did. I just remember what we did. Over my 13 years of being a Pittsburgh Public School student, I have honestly found that there is something different about Pittsburgh Public School students. We have a district full of students that truly care about the future of this district. They all want to help, but for too long, the students have been ignored. So here's my 2013 back to school challenge for you. All of you have many very hard decisions that will need to be made in the near future. But I can promise you one thing. If you get the students involved and give them a certain level of ownership, the future of this district will be bright. Students want to be part of these conversations that help shape their education and in turn shape their lives. They just don't always know how, and many times we are scared. So when August 26 rolls around and the students take their seats, go out there, stop talking and just listen. Listen to what they have to say, inform them on their situation, and listen to their students. And I'm not talking about a new student hotline, I'm not talking about new public hearings or more awkwardly structured group discussions. I'm talking about just going out there. Leave the entourages behind, don't tell anyone you're coming, and don't have a goal. Just go, sit in on lunches, pick random classes, and just sit in. Have random conversations about the Pirates or about the Steelers, and start building relationships. If you do that, and you truly create two-way dialogue between these students and yourselves, you will first of all be proud. You'll be proud of your students, but more importantly, you'll be surprised. And you'll be surprised at how they will change your point of view and help you make these decisions, because they're counting on these decisions. Next Monday, I will be a freshman. Mm -hmm.